Did you know the Young Turks have 18 different shows? Become a TYT member and get all of them. Click the link in the description box below. Megyn Kelly has apologized for comments she made in regard to individuals who think it's a good idea to dress up in blackface. Now first, let me give you what the comments were all about. And it all kind of started when there was this brouhaha regarding some person that I've never heard of. She's referred to as a television personality, Luann DeLessips. So she wanted to dress up like Diana Ross. And it appeared that she had darkened her skin to do so. And so that led to a bunch of controversy. And so she responded to it by saying, I was being an impersonator for Halloween. I didn't mean to offend anyone by being Diana Ross for Halloween. It just didn't even kind of enter my mind. I wasn't at all worried about that. And all of a sudden, it became a thing. Look, I'm against people dressing up in blackface. But I gotta be honest about that costume. It just, to me, it looked like she just had a tan. Like she doesn't really look any different from anyone who went to a tanning bed or. Yeah, well, I'm actually gonna go further yeah. when we get to Megyn Kelly's comments in defending them. Mm -hmm. um, but first, let's note that we live in an absurd planet where the real housewives of Albuquerque are relevant. Is that what she is? Uh, <laughs> New York, but oh, I mean, New they've York. done so okay. many variations. It's gonna be Albuquerque soon. <laughs> uh, Walter White's wife. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so, but on the other hand, uh, the president's a reality show star. Mm -hmm. So that's the world we live in. So these are the most relevant people apparently in the country. Yeah. So now, uh, that, let's go to Megyn Kelly's comments because I'm actually in a shocking twist going to defend her a little bit. Fascinating. Okay, so here's what Megyn Kelly had to say about people who do uh, use blackface in their costumes. She says, but what is racist? You truly do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface at Halloween or a black person who puts on white face for Halloween. But when I was a kid, that was okay, as long as you were dressing up like a character. She also said, I felt like who doesn't love Diana Ross? She wanted to look like Diana Ross for one day. I don't know how that got racist on Halloween. And then she finally says, I can't keep up with the number of people that were offending just by being normal people. Okay, so I'll let you guys attack first. Sure, <laughs> so look, I think that Luann's costume is probably is not the best example of blackface. Again, I mean, maybe there's better pictures that show that she did use blackface, but from the photo that we saw, it just looks like she did a spray tan. I mean, mm. there's white girls all over the country doing this, right? Yeah. And they're not doing it to be racist, I assure you. But there are people who literally put on black, you know, foundation or makeup, whatever it is, to make it appear like they're black. And and it has racist roots. And I don't think that all the people who do it are racist. I just think that there's a lack of education as to why it's perceived as racist, right? So I can totally, look, there was a time when for Halloween, I would dress up in like a geisha costume. And I didn't realize that that was offensive until way later, okay? When people explained to me that, hey, people's culture is not a costume. You know, so, um, okay, so maybe you disagree with me, but I understand their concerns and I respect it, okay? With, with Megyn Kelly, look, culture changes and I get it, it might be annoying to you, but I think for the most part, culture does change for the better. So when I was in grade school, the F word, which is not F-U-C-K, I'm talking about like the gay slur, People would throw that around all over the place and no one would get offended. People certainly get offended now and it's for good reason because the culture has changed. And so just because something was deemed acceptable when you were young doesn't necessarily mean that everything's the same and people should, look, just don't be a dick, just don't be a dick, right? If it offends people, then just don't do it. I don't understand why people have a difficult time doing this. I thought it was interesting how she said, uh, you know, it was all right when I was a kid. I mean, as though, you know, there weren't bad things then. I mean, so I looked her up. She was born in 1970. So that would have been, um, she was a kid at a time when women couldn't serve on juries. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not something you want to Women go back couldn't to. get credit cards. Yeah. That so time. I don't think that's a great argument that it was okay, that, you know, that it was okay before. Therefore, there must be some kind of wisdom in, you know, respecting history or something. But as you point out, there is no history. There's no, she probably didn't even, maybe she doesn't know blackface was a routine people would do in a disparaging way towards black people. And mm -hmm. when you add that context, I think it changes it a little bit. Yeah, okay, so now if you're wondering what my defense is, I agree with everything you guys are saying. Uh, and and uh, Megyn Kelly, when she apologized, explained, well, you know, I, I, 
basically that she didn't know the history of it as well as she should have and having talked to colleagues is now more aware of it. And so um, a, a classic example of it, again, for if you've never heard of it, I think it's totally okay that you never heard of it, that's part of my defense. Uh, but uh, Birth of a Nation, first uh, major feature film, uh, there's a guy in a black face uh, pretending to be a black person going around kidnapping and raping white women. And then the Ku Klux Klan is the hero of the movie, they come and uh, kill him. Okay, so that that is among the many different uses of blackface in American history that was meant to ridicule African Americans and then eventually used to justify in lynching them. So that is why it has a terribly racist past. Now, the problem we have in this country is that we don't uh, know each other's perspectives and oftentimes don't want to know. Okay, mm -hmm. so almost all African Americans know that history because it's is something that they had to be concerned about, something that they were taught. And so when they see blackface, they're deeply offended. But I think the overwhelming majority of white people in this country don't know that at all. Mm -hmm. So when they don't get why you're offended by blackface, they're like, what is wrong with black? They're so sensitive. And these liberals and their virtue signaling and all this, so what, man? There's nothing wrong with Diana Ross. You want to be like Diana Ross, what are you guys giving her a hard time for, right? Well, that's because there is that history of it. And I think that we could all be better off if we just talk to each other about that. Look, you know, I, I attack Republicans on the regular. <laughs> and I think that they oftentimes they demonize um, other races. Certainly Donald Trump does. He does it with Latinos almost every single day, 12 times a day. He does it with Muslims and oftentimes does it with black people. But in this case, uh, I do think that it just genuinely comes from not knowing. Yeah. Rather than uh, being malicious, I, I I agree with that point, and I think that it's important to, I think it's important to approach people who are doing something that you deem offensive with an open mind and and a willingness to just have a conversation instead of immediately assuming that they're intentionally racist. Because once you do that, then no one's listening to anyone and it needlessly right. like leads to division. Right, change happens when people talk to each other and right. they empathize and they learn about each other. I think you're right about that. One difference um, on my point of view is, I mean, she has an elite education. She's an extraordinarily privileged individual. I yep. think, you know, she ended up apologizing for it, so perhaps she didn't know. But to me, when I first saw it, I thought, well, how did she not know this? She's not an, if this was an ordinary person who perhaps didn't have the same privileges that she did, I, you know, would be more sympathetic. But to her, it feels a little different. Yeah, and I hear you. Look, she's the same person who emphatically declared Jesus Christ and Santa Claus white on Fox News when she worked there, which I find to be more amusing. Um, I don't know which was more amusing, Santa Claus definitely being white when he's fictional, or Jesus Christ definitely being white when he's clearly a Middle Easterner. <laughs> <laughs> like, so that's a toss up for me, maybe we'll do a TYT poll on it. But in, in, and again, in this case, to, to Ken's earlier point, Look, I, I don't think that Megyn Kelly said it because she thinks be, uh, making fun of black people is awesome and I hope that leads to violence against them. I'd be really shocked if that was her intent, okay? On the other hand, you've got to recognize, as Ken said, that just because something happened when you were a kid doesn't make it okay. The F word is a great point, uh, same with me growing up and in, in terms of everybody using it. And when I was growing up, I'm even older than you guys, people use, would use the word oriental all the time, right? And, and not all the time like derogatorily, that just what they called Asians. That was a normal, very, very normal word for Asian. And then it became offensive. And I actually, back then, remember I'm a conservative. I fought against that and I actually to this day still think it's absurd that people get offended by that. Uh, that goes to my point about uh, uh, costumes about people's ethnicity. I don't care if people dress up with a fez or in a big mustache, pretending to be a Turkish guy. I don't even know why that's offensive. Mm. They say, oh, you call, uh, Rugs oriental, you, you don't call people oriental, you call rugs Turkish, you call people Turkish, who cares? Do you, should okay. we change the way that we refer to Turkish people? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> like, <laughs> the only change could be a bad one. Anyway, <laughs> so but my point is, eventually I started, I stopped calling uh, Asians orientals, why? Because they were offended by it. So what's the point of needlessly offending them? Like that, that just means you're being a jerk. Right, ex exactly, so that's really the heart of the point I'm trying to make. First off, I do recognize that there is an issue of white people in America who do wanna do the virtue signaling and pretend like they're offended by something that 
act, people from specific cultures are not actually offended by. So that's like that's been a thing that's been happening that's annoying, I get it. But if if individuals from a certain demographic or a certain group do get offended by by Actions that we're seeing either on Halloween. This is why I hate Halloween. Every Halloween we have these conversations about costumes. It's so annoying. But I love Halloween. But if there, it's the worst. Can you tell the candy? <laughs> um, but it, again, if they're offended, just l hear them out, listen to them, and just let's just try to be nice to one another. Why is that such a difficult thing to do? Yeah, I don't think it has to be complicated with all right. of these very academic approaches and things. Just let people be the authority on what they would like to be called. I don't think it's that complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and finally. I actually think this one worked out nearly perfectly because she said something that offended people for good reason. She was told that good reason and said, "Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you." Not so bad. I think that's exactly how it's supposed to go. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Then you're a TYT subscriber, and second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.